I'm really gonna miss you, mate. I never really got to say thank you, did I? And if I'd known you were gonna choke on that volivant, I'd have said something earlier. A bit late now, eh? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for everything, Eddie. Pearly Gates is gonna give you the send-off you deserve. I've been preparing my speech. So here goes. My mate Eddie was a man. He was a great man. And a great driver. Go on! Catch him! Oh, 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 catch him! Good evening, Pearly Gates. How may I be of assistance? Oh, you want to place an order? Uh, we have a lovely imitation oak. Or a real wood veneer. But chicken madras peel or rice and an bread. Thanks for the lift on, Kateel. Pleasure's all mine, sweet ting. Sweet ting? Are you having a laugh? What, you don't like sweet ting? Baby, you name it, I'll call it to you, innit? Oh, how about my name, Lily? Okay, Lily. My beautiful flower. Just Lily, please. Got you in a hurry, man. What you having? Yeah, man. John, that's part of a Shaquille meal deal. Shaquille meal deal. Put the toilet roll in the freezer, man. I'll be there in no time, innit? Listen, I've got a job to do, Lily. I've got to go, innit? Bye, Shaquille. Oh, and can you tell Mr. P I'll be down tomorrow for my job interview? Oh, I will. Hiya, love. Do you have a good day at school? How many times have I told you it's college? Yeah, I know. Well, it's the same, innit? It's a place of learning. School never really was your strong point, would it, love? No. Only ever one job for you. You were born to be a funeral Director. helper. You look like you've had two weeks in Barbados. What have you done to your face? I know. We've been practicing how to apply fake tan and unfortunately I got paired up with Tracy again. Mm. Must admit I was a bit nervous. She gave Amy a trim last week, nearly took her ear off. I don't know why you bother with that beauty course. Sounds like health risk to me. If it makes the girls of Stanhope look a bit more attractive, then it's good for me. Since when have you been interested in girls? Ever since Mrs Brown left her husband. Mrs Brown? From high school? Yeah. I was her favourite pupil. Market, you were her only pupil. She was your support teacher. I know. It was fate. She helped me with English. You got an F in English. Didn't you get an F in all his subjects? No. He got an unclassified in geography. He thought that the capital of England were E. It is. I know, son. Any road up. Who says you have to have an education to be a success in life? I don't have one. Look at me. I want a normal job, Dad. You've got a normal job here. What, making up the deceased? I want a job with wages and tips. I've got a tip for you. Don't pair up with Tracy again. Makes you think, doesn't it, son? What about? That we're only one small step away from complete disaster. You know, our family has fought from generation to generation for the survival of Pearly Gates. Yes, Dad. Through world wars and global recessions. How could I forget? And we haven't made a profit since... You took over? It's not my fault that people are living longer. Take your nana, for instance. What happened to good old-fashioned live fast and die young? Old Joe had the right idea. Clever lad. When the Spanish flu struck in 1918, it killed thousands. The funeral business was booming. Yes, Dad. So he started Pearly Gates. Look at us now. We can barely afford to replace Eddie. What about the advert? Have we had any response yet? We've had two potential candidates. Well, one and Shaquille. <laughs> Lazy Mare's using a stair lift again. 
She can walk up. There's nothing wrong with her legs. Flaming Nora. What are they putting these curries? Peter! Peter! I can't hear you. Peter, come and help me! Oh, you tight git! Dad, she's stranded on the stairs again. That's not strictly true, is it, my love? Because she's got an emergency battery Peter! pack. She'll have reached the top of the stairs, all right. I know that, but it's pitch black. I'm not getting up. Can't see a blooming thing. When she starts putting money in the electric meter, she can use her stair lift as often as she likes. Oh, come on, Peter, I'm starving. We'll save you some. Oh, will you switch the blooming lights on? I've told you before, we can't afford for you to keep coming upstairs electrically. Mikey, have you got any change before Nana injures herself? Thank you. Thanks for that. Here she is. Now sit down and make sure you choke on your food. It's like somebody's already choked on there. Oh, stop it now. Are you okay, Nana? Yes, love, I'm okay. I'm just a bit shook up, that's all. Somebody rang. Who were it? The Grim Reaper? Well, I don't know, do I? I hung up when you shouted me for me tea. On your barge, Micah, that's for you. Vegetable packers, that's mine. Extra hot samosa for Nana. And two large Yorkshire puddings. Here you go, Dad. Champion. I'd like to propose a toast. To Eddie. An absent friend. To, to Eddie. Eddie. To Eddie. An, An absent, absent friend. friend. I can only do Monday and Tuesday this coming week. Oh, and I might have to leave at short notice. Why? I'm in court. Jury service? No. I'm robbery. It's all right. <laughs> I was just a getaway driver. What happened? We didn't get away. Well, mister. Uh, we will keep your name on file and thank you so much for coming in today. Mikey, show him the door. I know where the door is. I came through it. I'll see myself out. Follow him. Next. Hi, Shaquille. Now sit down and please don't say anything stupid. I'm a great driver, Mr. P. I deliver the fastest curry in Yorkshire, man. No spillage. I've even had reports, right? People burn their mouths because it's still too hot, man. If I can do that, I can deliver dead bodies. No worries, man. Yes, well, that's all well and good, Shaquille. But we are in a business where we have to understand our clients' emotional needs. We have to be caring, sympathetic, considerate. I'm cheap. You're hired. <gasps> Is that it? You're serious, Mr P. I've got the job. You said the magic word, Shaquille. I'm cheap. Magic words. It's all yours. Thank you, Mr. P. You won't regret it. I promise. I, I, <laughs> I got the job. I got the job, innit? <laughs> uh, touch me, and it'll be your funeral next. Tomorrow morning at 11. All right, Mr. P. Marky love, can you crouch down a bit? I've got all the weight this end. Sorry, Dad. There we go. Good lad. There you go. Fingers. Hello, Sid. How are you? Glad to hear it. I'm here, Mr. P. <laughs> 1059, innit? I took my cap off as a mark of respect. Right? Yes, well, I can see you've been respectful, Shaquille, but you're not representing Pearly Gates dressed like that. Mikey, 
Give him the suit. Suit. Here you go, Shaquille. Oh, yeah. Got to wear official suit, innit? Correct. <laughs> Off you pop. Well, I, I don't know where it is. I remember writing it down. Oh, come on, Anne. I need you just quickly, otherwise we're going to be late. Well, we ought to get you a computer or something. Oh, not for me, love, no. They've got these new iPads now, you know. I don't need iPads. My conjunctivitis cleared up ages ago. Oh, <laughs> you see, look. <laughs> there you go. See you soon, Nana. Oh, have a nice day. Suppose it's the first time you've travelled in the back. Hey, Eddie. Are you OK, Dad? Me? Champion. Where are we going? Eddie's funeral. All oh, right. No, Dad, uh, which church? I need an address. One o'clock, Haydock Park? Oh, no, wait. St Bartholomew's, HD 9, 4R, E. Are we meeting Eddie's family at the church, Dad? Mavis didn't want to lift. Something about getting there on time. Oh, she sounds like an intelligent lady. We're ready, Mikey. Hang on, where's Shaquille? I'm here. <laughs> right, Shaquille. You ready? Wait, wait, I can hardly breathe. I look ridiculous, man. Eddie was a bit smaller than you. Wait a minute, this was Eddie's. Are you serious? You want me to wear a dead man's clothes? Can you reach the wheel? Can now. Lovely. Right. Let's go. Where's the thing? I. Mikey. What's he doing? He's the hearse whisperer. Let's go. Turn right. He's not Turn right. right. No, 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 no. Turn no. right. At the next junction, leave the motorway. Oh. This is ridiculous. Are we nearly there yet? Mikey, love. Shut up! Are we late? Only fashionably. Hat. Shane! <laughs> Never mind, we'll manage. <sighs> Look after the ears. <laughs> Dad. Not now, son. No, Dad, look, these people don't look dressed for a funeral. Wrong, but it sounds to me like the wedding march. Is this normal? Okay, don't panic. Is this your idea of a joke? No. I don't believe this. Okay, I don't think anyone has noticed. You're right! Sing me. Get up, it's your daughter's big day. <laughs> okay, team, let's stay professional. Stay professional? We arrived at a wedding with a dead body. We're never going to live this down. Right. You are not helping, Lily. Let's get Eddie out of here before we cause a scene. Forward. Back. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Stop! Oh no. She's coming. Quick, over there! Is there a dead person in there? No. Now off you trot. What's in it then? Where are you? Quick, little boy, someone's calling you. 
Tell me now, I'm not going. Listen, little boy, let's play a game. It's called Run Back to Mummy or the dead guy comes out of his coffin and he hates little boys. Harry! Called Harry. Mummy! Dad, 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 I'm hurting. I'm hurting, I need to change hands. Okay, okay, uh, up, 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 up. Harry! What's wrong, sweetheart? There's a dead person over there. <laughs> Don't be silly, there's loads of dead people. It's a graveyard. She looks lovely, by the way. We found that church with a wonky sat nav and the silly sausages giving us the wrong address. Poor Eddie. You're supposed to be fashionably late for your wedding, not your funeral. Come on, Shaquille. Speed up. Oh, bugger, what a waste. Hello, Pearly Gates. How may I be of assistance? Nana, we're lost. You gave us the wrong address for Eddie's funeral. Oh, did I? Oh, I'm sorry, love. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, it's here somewhere. Oh, oh. The reception's terrible. Not as bad as the reception that lot'll be getting tonight. <laughs> it's St Mary's. Come on, Shaquille, we haven't got all day. It's nearly an hour late, Mum. I just knew I couldn't rely on Peter to get Eddie here on time. Shaquille, stop here. I'm going to get out and smooth things over. I can see Mavis. No worries, Mr. P. Marky. So sorry, Mavis. It's like technical difficulties. Technical difficulties? We went to the wrong church. I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, you and me. And what happened in the past is still in the past. Just don't let me down. I would never let you down again, Mavis. I know what it's like to lose someone you love. And if you ever need your shoulder to cry on, well, I've got two. What's wrong with him? Oh, that's Shaquille, our new driver. He's wearing Eddie's old suit. Sorry, Dad. Peter! I lost my husband tragically no less than a week ago and on the day that I'm about to bury him you, got at wrong church, arrive an hour late and your so-called driver's wearing my late husband's old suit! My father had a strange job but he loved it. And I know how much he loved the people that he worked with. One thing they always used to say about my father was that he was a great timekeeper, never late. Hot for his own funeral. I now call upon his dearest friend, Peter. Yeah, go on, Dad, say a few words. <laughs> my mate, Eddie, was a man. He was a great man and a great driver. It's poetic. Our Eddie, Art in heaven, Harold was his middle name. He's done in Stanhope but not in heaven. This sounds familiar. Give Eddie 
this day his daily bread and Eddie forgive us our trespasses especially the last one and lead him not into temptation but deliver him from evil Amen Amen, Amen. Amen. We will all now say the Lord's Prayer Sid, thanks for today. My pleasure. See you later. Oh, Mr. Pete, I know I only just started and all that, yeah, but do you think I could book holiday? Got it in a hurry, man. What you having? Chicken boona? No, man. I've got some garlic naan, no. though. Any calls? Only oh, nature and that one for me. Thanks for that. <laughs> one go won't hurt. <laughs> Nana! 